All new at 6, a community coming together with one objective. And that's to find the person responsible for a hit and run accident that left an eight year old boy critically injured. CBS 4's Patrick Chalvier has more. We will continue to do that. We will continue supporting the Peña family till uh, justice is served for little Stevie. Three fathers with one mission. Finding the person behind the wheel who fled the scene after hitting the car eight-year-old Steven Pena and his family were in last month in Los Fresnos. We marched out here. We went into some houses up in the neighborhood, hoping that we could get uh, the person uh, involved to come forward. That person, according to the Cameron County District Attorney's Office, is Tommy Hernandez. They believe he was driving the Chevy Tahoe involved in that hit and run. We know that uh, the individual probably is aware that, uh, that uh, the law enforcement, the state police is, is after him and uh, he might be on the run. But after weeks of being identified as the possible suspect, Hernandez has not been found. So these men have now put up signs in hopes someone will turn him in. It could be one of their children. You know, you have to put yourself in the situation. Um, it could be your child. As a community, we need to uh, recognize that um, these things happen, you know, more often than they should. And um, I think this person needs to be brought to justice and they need to face the consequences. They aren't the only ones supporting Pena and his family. Charlie Flores, a forward with the RGVFC Toros, paid Stephen a visit at the Houston hospital where he continues to receive treatment. Flores left a signed jersey and motivational note for the young soccer fan. While back here at home, the main objective remains finding the person responsible. Entregate, por favor. Justice for little Stevie, please. In Los Fresnos, Patrick Schaufier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. And as you saw on those signs, a $5,000 reward for tips leading to the arrest of Hernandez. If you have any information, you're urged to call the Texas Department of Public Safety. 